you may have noticed on our new bags that there's a spot that says processing method. This Kenya, for example, is a washed coffee, whereas this Ethiopia process method is natural. So what the heck is the difference between a washed and a natural or maybe even a honey processed coffee? So in order to get there, let's take a look at what coffee is. Coffee is actually a cherry. How do you like my visual representations here? So if, you, if I were to take this cherry, I could actually eat the fruit of it. And the bean that we're talking about is actually the pit of that cherry. So one bean is actually two halves of a pit of a cherry. So imagine here's a coffee bean, here's a coffee bean. Put those together, that's your pit. And then you've got the fruit on the outside. So the way that the coffee works at the farm is the cherries are picked when they're ripe. Then they go through this contraption, which actually removes the fruit off of the cherry. And so then that fruit gets fed to their farm animals and things like that. And then if it's washed, it goes into these troughs where the, the, the remaining fruit, remaining skin is actually literally rinsed away. Or it would be a, a natural process would be the fruit that's left on that, that pit would be laid out in drying beds to ferment, uh, bake off in the sun. Now, uh, I sort of skipped ahead. A washed processed coffee gets washed and then dried. Isn't that fun? So the difference between a washed and a natural is that we skip the washing process and we just put the coffee out straight like that. Now, there's also a process called honey process, which you get washed a little bit, not all the way, and then dried. So it's kind of like an in-between stage. So that's all fine and great. Uh, what the heck does that mean for the flavor of your coffee? In a washed coffee, it would make sense that you would have a clean flavor profile, right? So if you taste most of our coffees that we get are washed. I like them for how clean they taste. Um, however, when you get a natural processed coffee where the fruit is baking in the sun, a lot of that fruit flavor gets put into the coffee bean. So your natural processed coffees are going to taste a lot fruitier, a lot brighter, oftentimes have a high degree of aromatics. Sometimes if you get a poor natural processed coffee, you can get fermentation in the bean. That's not very pleasant, so we stay away from, from coffees when, when they cup that way. Um, but that is the difference between a natural. A honey process is going to be exactly like you would think, more honeyed sweetness, a little bit in between, fruitier than, than a washed, um, cleaner than a natural, halfway in between. So as you're looking at our offerings, and you want to know, you know, you know, play around with which ones you think are, are fun and exciting, what ones you like, which ones your customers like, and that's the difference between a washed and a natural and how that imparts different flavors into the coffee.